Hey guys, we're back in the shop this morning and we're gonna go ahead and start building that vanity. Um, it's the last of all of the vanities that we're gonna need before we can template for countertops and get these sinks set and get everybody rolling to the finish line. So um, enjoy the ride. We're gonna show you how step-by-step step, we build these cabinets in our shop. And this one's a custom cabinet that's 18 inches deep instead of the normal 24 so that we can fit between that back corner wall and the door. So let's do it. new job new house in in Chapel Hill and I'm gonna be meeting up with the tile guy and the flooring guy the hardwood flooring guy to talk about floor transitions talk about where wood's gonna go talk about where tiles gonna go what kind of trim we got um, what kind of feature strips in the tile we've got try to get it all right in the, in the beginning and that's one of the main reasons why I love using 3D modeling and SketchUp in particular is that you can get a really, really close image of what this space is actually going to look like um, so that everybody's on the same page. The tile guy knows what to do, the homeowner knows what they're getting, um, and we know how much tile to order exactly with all the trim and all the, all the little details we've already figured out. So that's kind of what I'm working on addition to getting some of the plumbing fixtures lined up for the next day and trying to keep everybody rolling so that's what's on our agenda today and um, I might add that it is really cold today so I'm hoping we don't have any issues lacquering the trim and base frames of these cabinets uh, because that would hold up our assembly time we typically like to build and sand the face frames before we install the cabinet box parts to the face frame so that we don't have to mask off our pre-finished plywood. We can just assemble it and be done um, and it'll be ready to install. So um, I'm hoping all goes well. It looks like we've got some sunshine so usually we can, we can spray lacquer if it's sunny. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to check in with Andrew when we get back and see if he's able to, to get a good coat of lacquer on everything. 
um, in which case we might actually have this stuff assemble by the end of the day and could potentially start bringing cabinets over pretty soon. Make sure our pipes didn't freeze last night because it got super cold. In fact, it's still in the 30s right now. And it's after one o'clock. So we're just gonna go do our little check-in and make sure everybody's got what they need, keep on rolling. And then I'm gonna head back to the shop and help our team keep crushing it. Andrew and Ben we're working on building that vanity and milling up the trim. It goes around like the crown bolt, basically around the top of the cabinets and toe kicks and getting everything else ready to install the cabinet boxes. It's everything but the doors and the drawers. And the reason why we're doing that, um, we're going ahead and building all the boxes and installing those first so that we can template for our countertops and while we're waiting for our countertops to be fabricated and installed, we can build the doors and drawers. And that way we don't have to spend all of that time building and installing the doors and drawers, having everything ready to go 100% installed. And then we have a lag time. We're using up that lag time while we're waiting for countertops to build the doors and drawers. So there's really no downtime at all. Um, that kind of helps expedite this whole build process. Uh, and it clears a whole lot of room out of our shop as well. If we can get these giant boxes out of the shop, we'll be in good shape to have plenty of room to glue up doors and drawers. Looks like we got solar going up today. PV on the roof. PV's going in today. This is exciting. Some of the shade is on the mod. This will keep it all lit. The entire string won't shut down or decrease in size. So I got you. That's cool. Yeah, you keep all your mods connected to this. So if shade hits that mod, and particularly the entire string, will keep the voltage up instead of coming down because of that one mod. It's a safety thing too. So we got all these hooked together, and uh, in the box, it's just one volt per one. If we had the mods hooked together, you know, in the box, it would be the entire string voltage coming at you instead of just one. Just bolt. one at yeah. a time, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's come a long way. It has, it has, yeah. Yep. So you're just getting these things racked up, kind of in their general location, just getting them up off the ground. Yeah, gonna and, put these on today. And then you'll take the mid clamps and end clamps and just screw them down huh yeah, it bonds to the metal and then it's all grounded out with the mid clamps and then that's that cool that's pretty much it all right i gotta run to home depot or lowe's and grab some pan liner for the towel guy who's got to get more waterproofing in the shower since we changed from a movable bench to a permanent built-in bench and had to remove our pan liner. Here we go. Should be back in an hour, keep these guys rolling. And I need to be back at the shop by like 4.30 before it gets dark, before it starts to freeze again to make sure we got everything back in the shop. So I gotta get to Lowe's, get this pan liner, get some glue and get back over here so I can skedaddle back to the shop before things start closing out for the day. We'll see how fast I can make this happen.
here, maybe. You might have been in this situation before, too. We're looking at pan liners down here by the foot versus one that are pre cut five by six. I need somebody to cut this one so I can save about 10 or 15 bucks. And I'm at Lowe's, so good luck finding somebody that's gonna help. We'll see. Got the last of this roll. right now to check in with the guys and make preparations for next steps so we got our face frame lacquered here put together and we have all of our box parts cut and you can see they've already been pocket screwed here um, we gotta get it together so we're gonna start here by putting in the sides of our cabinet and then after that I'm gonna put in the base and it'll help things line up correctly and to attach the, the plywood to the face frame, we're going to use these fine threaded Craig screws uh, with a number two square bit. And yeah, I'm going to stage them up right here before I put them in. And before I screw this in, I'm going to check and make sure that the, we're pretty flush here where the plywood's meeting the face frame. Pull it back just a little bit because it's gonna walk when I go to screw it in. Last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna put on our quarter inch plywood back and we're gonna attach that with some three quarter inch crown staples. And now we got a cabinet for the powder room. Mike and I are working on a bunch of different things in the office, one of which is um, the kitchen cabinet design in another home that we're building. We're about ready to knock out the kitchen cabinetry on that. We've got a few issues that we're trying to deal with in, in the cabinet design itself um, to make sure that everything looks right in the end. Um, so we're, we're modeling that up in both SketchUp and SolidWorks and trying to make sure that uh, we get it together. Well, we're we're going to bring it out to here. we got to figure out where, when we put this window trim on here, we're going to bring that cabinet out. we got to build that thing so that it's another three inches. 